In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is an Axeman movie. I hadn't made an Axeman movie in a long time, and he's getting big and hard to handle. So I did a monster movie with an even bigger little monster this week, so I thought I'd try an Axeman movie. And I don't plan ahead well enough, because I'd like to have a whole list of subjects to cover with these little guys. But I just saw something interesting recently. I think it was from OCN. And... Uh, it was about what is the greatest thing to being a priest. Now that priest was able to answer the question in 45 seconds. Well, I'm Irish, so I don't know if I can really do that. I won't count the lead in here. What is the greatest thing to being a priest? Well, first of all, I would say, I'll try to be totally positive here, but the greatest thing about being a priest also involves the hardest thing about being a priest. In fact, being a priest is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me and the most horrible thing, both at the same time. Because if you're a priest, you have a heart that is becoming like Jesus. And if you have a heart like that, then there are hard things. But we're going to talk about the great things that are beautiful. So, I have three. The first is this. It's always been this. It's the reason I became a Christian. And it's the reason eventually I became a priest. That is, as a priest, I can do something permanent. Permanent. Eternal. Not temporary. So I consider the work I do with this little guy, my baby, my grandbaby, my ex-man, my Owen, my oh boy, to be permanent. Because I want to instill in him the things that I love and purpose in life. That's what I want him to know about. So I want to do something permanent with him. And same thing with my parishioners, people in prison, people I meet. There's always a chance that an interaction I have with someone will be permanent. And not only that, but even if I have an interaction with them and they come and they go, and a lot of people do that, they're in my diptychs. I pray for them. And that comes to number two. I'm just a regular guy, a regular sinful guy. I don't think my prayers are all that much, but I do pray. And as a priest, I pray before the altar. And I have great confidence that when I pray before the altar, that um, God hears, because God hears his priests. So that is a great thing about being a priest. Praying before the altar, praying the liturgy, we pray it at least twice in a week, and many weeks more often than that. That is a beautiful, wonderful thing. Because I do pray at home. I try to have an extensive prayer rule at home, a commemoration of people mostly. And I must do that, but as a priest, when I pray before the altar, I feel great confidence. And the third thing is to stand before the altar, to be in the presence of God, to be meeting God. Now, it's not that I pray with great, incredible attention and I see angels and things like that, but I am in the presence of God when I, I am serving and I am bringing the presence of God to other people. Now, it's not because of my worth, but it is because of my office. And without my office, without me officiating at the altar, there is no Holy Eucharist. God has de decreed that. So that's the third thing, that I am actually participating in the, in the salvation of others and being in the presence of God and serving before the altar, something that no other person can do except the priest. And I lied. There's actually uh, four things. And the fourth is really caught up with the first one of permanency. And that is that I absolutely love it when I see someone change. When I see changes in the soul. When I see they don't have to be very obvious. Or maybe they don't even particularly change the external parameters of a person's life. But when I see a change in the soul, that, that is a beautiful thing. And that keeps me going for all the hard times when I don't see changes in souls. But I'm trying to change his soul. Right now I would like to change his eating habits a little bit. And I, on a non-temporary basis, TMI, I like to get him to poop. But what I'm doing today is permanent. So you do something permanent today too, okay? You pray for people. And you love people. And you deal with anybody who crosses your path and then you're also like a priest we're all priests on some level aren't we there is a royal priesthood 
It's just that some of us can stand before the altar, even though we're unworthy. God bless you.